Hi lovely people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Whether you like her or not, 2023 has been the year of Ice Spice. She has catapulted into a superstar for her viral and chart-topping collaborations in only her first official year in the industry. The rapper has had several Billboard Hot 100 song entries this year, with four songs that reached the top 10 which include Karma by Taylor Swift featuring Ice Spice, Boys the Liar Part 2 by Pink Panthers and Ice Spice, Princess Diana by Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj, and Barbie World by Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice with Aqua for the Barbie movie soundtrack. Additionally, Ice Spice has taken home awards for the BMI Impact Award at the R&B Hip Hop Awards, Rookie of the Year at the Billboard R&B Hip Hop Power Players Awards, as well as Best New Artist at the VMAs, all of which she won this year. Aside from all of her major accomplishments and strides she is making in her career, I look forward to reading or watching any interview from Ice Spice because, on one hand, she still seems like she is such an enigma given her swift rise to superstardom, but still super relatable as if she is just a girl you know from around the way. And if anyone has ever seen any of her old tweets, you could tell Ice Spice has a sense of humor and definitely speaks her mind when she wants to, and her recent interview with Variety is no different. Ice Spice spoke on the competitive nature in rap and said it is essentially a sport, as each MC is trying to prove who is the best, especially with the growing number of women in the female rap scene nowadays. Ice Spice said, quote, It is a competition at the end of the day. People want to be all, I'm a girl's girl, but then behind the scenes being Basically, we here, the girls, are doing amazing. I'm excited to see it. I feel like the competition is what keeps us all excited because I think we all secretly enjoy competing and seeing who put that ish on better and who's going to get the most views. I can be transparent and I know the competition is checking on me too, which is why it is okay to say that. Because it's like, yeah girl, I'm watching you and I know you watching me. And boys are watching too because they be secretly haters. But everybody today is competing with everybody, no matter if you a boy, girl, non-binary, whatever it is. You still checking in on your competition. That's in every industry, unquote. I personally love that Ice Spice openly admitted this because I feel like it challenges both the notion of respectability politics for women in the music industry and it also reinforces the competitive nature in hip-hop. Since she is speaking from the perspective of someone who is now heavily in the industry and has interacted with many of her counterparts, Ice Spice has more than likely noticed women who have publicly spoken out about how they are all for women empowerment and female rap unity, but behind closed doors they are probably messy, mean, and sneaky to an extent. If this is happening, it contradicts whatever pro-women and empowerment image they are trying to portray to the public. Obviously, Ice Spice did not name any names, so it would be unfair to speculate who she was referring to. I think that YouTuber Blessing Makosha spoke on this topic eloquently in her video Why I Hate the Female Rap Unity, as she noted that the media and some fan bases force the female rap unity narrative without realizing that it waters down the sport. People try to paint a picture that all of the women are best friends or should be buddy-buddy when that is not always the case. Not every female rapper has to prove that they are cordial or friends with everyone, or that they are quote unquote a girl's girl because for one, none of these women are in a girl group, and two, the core of the profession is to get in the studio and be a musical bully, and prove who is the king or queen of rap. The publication OK Player also spoke on the history of female rap beefs when they highlighted that nowadays rappers run to social media with their disses and subtweets as opposed to redirecting their energy to a studio to put it in a song where they're able to control the narrative of whatever situation is happening. The publication stated that, while it's easy to ask, can we all get along? It's unrealistic to ask female rappers to act kumbaya while their male counterparts get to solidify themselves in the hip hop tradition of diss tracks. LL Cool J's Jack the Ripper, Ice Cube's No Vaseline, Nas's Ether, Drake's Back to Back, Pusha T's The Story of Added On, both past and present male rappers have resorted to diss tracks to not only showcase their lyrical prowess, but put their competition in check. The contemporary girls could do the same, offering something that has a little more shelf life than a collection of subtweets or social media videos. I agree with this one tweet that said, Yes, everyone pretends like competing isn't a part of the music industry, but it's like every industry. There's always competition, and that's exactly what makes it fun. Without it, we literally wouldn't be progressing at all. The only thing is that people need to be humble about it. Aside from that, I also feel like this year, and more recently with the Ariana Grande relationship situation, in which she wasn't famously labeled not a girl's girl, more people socially and on TikTok have intentionally and strategically leaned into becoming more girly because it is now more than ever universally embraced and revered. And optically, it fares well for women to outwardly show their admiration and unapologetic closeness with other women because it has become politically correct to do so. Not necessarily because they inherently and genuinely have that sense of affinity with their fellow women. I saw this one TikTok that was parodying women who pretend to be girls girls but are really giving strong pick me energy. Baby, Hi. are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? You're looking a little sloppy. What the f 
how? No, 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 it's not obvious. I didn't notice until all the guys were laughing and pointing at you. Okay. No, 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 don't worry, babe. I defended you. I said she's probably not too drunk. She probably just has no idea how to walk in heels. Wow, thanks. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm a girl's girl. I always defend my girlies. I can tell. Yeah, you, do you need an Uber home? I don't think you should be here any longer. No, I literally just Are tripped over sure? some stairs. Okay. I'm not even drunk. Okay, love. Well, your makeup's looking a little smudged. Do you need a touch up? I have Dior. No, thank you. It's Dior. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. Okay, we'll get it together, girly. No guy likes a girl that's walking around sloppy like you. I don't really care. Okay. Love you. While competition is expected, who does not want to see camaraderie, sisterhood, and overall great music from the women in rap? I definitely believe that some of these women genuinely get along, such as Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B, for instance. They recently joined forces again for their recent single, Bongos, and while promoting the song with Cardi on Instagram Live, Megan said, quote, Cardi is somebody that I want in my space, in my energy, so it's easy to work with her, because she got good vibes, she got good energy, I want her to be in my space. This girl is probably the only girl who have been this consistent and this real and this just great of a person to me, so I just want to say, Cardi, I really love you. At a time when you could have jumped ship, you never jumped the ship, and you always been rocking with me, and I'm just so appreciative, unquote. It is also important to note that being a girl's girl and being competitive in rap is not mutually exclusive. Like this one tweet said, you could be both, a girl's girl that enjoys competing, competition does not equal anonymity. From the beginning of time, the media and fan bases like to create drama and unnecessary rivalries when the real power is strength in numbers with genuine friendships and music. In recent years, we have had bops such as WAP with Cardi B and Megan, Tomorrow 2 with Glorilla and her cousin Cardi B, Whole Lot of Money remix by Bia featuring Nicki Minaj, Mind Your Business with Lakia and Lotto, and even Asian Doll's None That Ish remix with Ruby Rose, Ivory and Doll, Dreezy, and Dream Doll, which should not make as much noise as I believe it should have. As for Ice Spice, it seems she is cultivating different friendships and mentors from women in the industry as she mentioned that she has had pinch me moments when she said, quote, sometimes I just wake up and I'm like, I'm a text Taylor, I'm a text Nikki, and then they be answering, I'm like, wow, that really makes me feel like that girl for real. Them supporting me and just encouraging me gives me all the motivation I need, unquote. I also loved how Ice Spice brought out fellow rappers Flo Millie and Callie during her performance at Hot 97 Summer Jam this past June. Even though Ice Spice has been low-key as of late, I like that she has seemingly taken a break given her meteoric rise this past year to allow her latest single, Deli, to resonate with the general public, star in a national Dunkin' Donuts commercial with Ben Affleck, and presumably get ready to go out on tour with Doja Cat and Dochi. Let me know what you guys think of Ice Spice comments and also if you think the girl's girl female rap unity narrative does a disservice to the competition amongst the women in rap or if it helps with camaraderie thus leading to more future collaborations. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next time.